I'm sure many of you Destiny 1 veterans remember that Hunters originally had Blink available back in D1 on the Arc Strider, and unfortunately, that didn't make it into Destiny 2. Destiny 2 Hunters have not had Blink until now in Beyond Light, where we have the Mask of Bakris. And with this, Blink is back. Except it's better than Blink. It's Phase Shift. In this hands-on gameplay, we're going to be showing off, of course, the Mask of Bacchus and its teleport or phase shift ability. This really is a very long-range, high-speed teleport, and it actually looks really interesting. It seems to maintain control or some degree of control of movement of your character, and it seems incredibly powerful. In my time using this so far, getting a quick hands-on, I was able to use it incredibly well defensively, completely getting out of bad scenarios, or use it in a more risky fashion in an offensive manner where I could just teleport to break into a room and start causing chaos for the enemy team and then my teammate comes in to assist me and are able to collapse with me. You can of course do the classic nothing personal and teleport behind someone that actually does work and allow you to engage someone completely unexpectedly because when you use this helmet it is a teleport your character does vanish and then reappear and that is insane i'm actually pretty blown away with this unfortunately it does come at a cost though an unexpected benefit of this helmet was that it buffs your damage a little bit a small percentage of damage boost for arc damage after you do the teleport or the phase shift but that damage boost actually locks your dodge out of regenerating so it does last for about 10 seconds and within that 10 seconds it looks like your dodge isn't allowed to start regenerating so essentially you're sacrificing your traditional dodge that you can get more frequently for a less frequent more potent teleport and the dodge cooldown in total in combination with the 10 second light shift buff that locks you out of regenerating your dodge is going to be best case scenario 21 seconds so if you are using this i really do recommend hitting tier 10 mobility or an equivalent to that through a lightweight weapon of some sort. Another thing is that people were assuming this would work with every hunter subclass. Unfortunately, it does not. It is specifically for your stasis subclass. You have to be playing stasis with this. And I know that's a bit disappointing. However, what isn't disappointing is that a lot of people were expecting it to be like Blink where your radar goes away for a significant portion of time and your weapon handling is bad. No, this is incredibly fluid. It feels like there is no penalty to weapon handling handling you don't get your radar taken away it feels like you were just playing the game anyways like just sprinting or dodging it doesn't feel like there's any sort of a jarring effect which is really going to give this some high potential in the hands of some pretty crazy players and i'm excited to master it myself honestly the last thing to mention with this i think in our little first impressions here is that i think you can get hit mid teleport because in my gameplay I made a little bit of an ambitious play to try and escape from a scenario to test this and I actually did end up getting hit by my opponent's sunshot and dying to it so that's something to keep in mind I know I said that was the last thing but I actually forgot something even if you are using gambler's dodge you are giving up your dodge functionality for this dodge so there's a lot of trade-offs with it it gives you a lot to work with but you are trading off your dodge ability it's not going to reload your weapon or give you your melee back from this you really have to commit to using this anyways i'm pretty excited to try this out more put a lot of time into this see how viable it truly is and do a full review and all the hot takes i usually do in the future so look out for that and subscribe if you haven't already otherwise enjoy my little bit of gameplay here that tries to showcase it and i'll see you guys later take care